I'm here with Erica from the Royal City Roller Derby team. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me. So how long have you been a part of the Ro Royal City Roller Derby team? I've been skating for nine years, roughly. I started in 2014 and I've never looked back. And what got you into this sport? I've worked with various co-workers who did roller derby and I was like, ah, oh, I want to be part of that. How do I be part of that? And I signed up for what was known as fresh meat at the time and um, I've been doing it ever since. Okay, I want to I wanna go back there. You saw, you, you saw it, you went, ah, oh, I want to be part of that. What was it that drew you to it? I wanted to be part of a team. I was just out of college and I was working full time and I thought like, I want to be part of something bigger than me. and roller derby came into my life and I so have been, been enjoying it immensely ever well, since. What is it about, about this sport that, you know, now that you looked at it and said, I want to do this, now that you're in it, is it everything you, you kind of thought it would be? I think it's everything I thought it would be and more. It is tolling. It, it's great because it, like, it's challenging. Sometimes it takes an emotional toll. Sometimes it takes a physical toll, but the the negatives or the positives sorry the positives outweigh the negatives like a lot so I've met numerous friends during this sport I've traveled to cool places and yeah I've traveled to cool places on a travel team playing the sport so I I quite enjoy it a lot what are some of the positives I, I told you off camera my girlfriend I used to do derby and the big thing she loved was just the camaraderie that the the team uh, aspect of it the camaraderie is great the physicality of it like my body has changed into a very I would say what I would call healthy for me and I enjoy the changes that my body has done because of this sport in terms of people for people out there watching uh, why do you think they might want to come out and watch a, a they might want to come out and watch a game because it's a unique alternative sport that I think nobody, not, not a lot of people think is an actual sport when you explain it to them. Like, oh yeah, I say like, oh yeah, I play roller derby. Oh, roller derby, is that when you throw bows? I'm like, no, it's a whole sport with a whole governing body and like there's rules, regulations, like it's a legit sport. Like. For yeah. me, I, when I watch it, it's just exciting. It is and exciting. it's fun and it just, it's fast and it's powerful and painful and it's powerful it's painful it's empowering it's a whole lot of things all in one place at the same <laughs> time so for anyone out there who uh wants to get involved uh, i know there's lots of different ways you can be a ref or uh, you can go out to the games how can people learn more about Royal, Royal city roller derby? you learn more about roller derby by coming to roller derby and asking all of the questions. Um, volunteering is such a beautiful part of roller derby because we don't get the skate unless we have volunteers. So I think definitely volunteering plays a huge part in getting involved. Um, referees, like it's hard to run a game if you don't have referees available. So definitely all of the mechanics of the non-skating officials and refs definitely make this sport what it is. And I know uh, a lot of Whip and I know who were on the last team I covered, they, some of them went in with very little uh, background in, in athletics. Uh, is there any sort of, uh, you know, uh, I guess a kind of bar people have to pass to, to just start or is it just a kind of all, all welcoming type of thing? Get skates, show up for <laughs> training and the rest will come. I started, um, I started with no skating experience and now I am a development skater for Team Ontario. So if it, you can start from nothing and work into something that is larger than yourself. So just, just come, just show up. I'm here with Lindsay, a member of the Royal City Roller Derby. Thanks for joining me today. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. So how long have you been doing roller derby? Um, it's been about eight years for me. I started uh, as an adult in my 30s. And why did you decide to go into this? So I won tickets uh, online to a derby game and I came out and I watched and I was just immediately thought those are my people. I need to be part of that community. I didn't know how to skate. I had never been on wheels before. Um, and I went out and I joined what used to be called Fresh Meat and is now intro to derby. And they taught me everything. Before the derby world, were you an athletic person or is this kind of your first foray into uh, team sports? Yeah, no, I grew up playing sports. I played competitive fastball growing up. I played on school teams. Um, I was usually involved in whatever sports were around and available to me. And what was it about derby? What is it about derby that, that keep like, uh, my girlfriend used to do it and yeah. it, it was a lot of bruises as you can see. I have see. a few, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> a little pain. A lot of like devotion, and like she told me, like it takes her. You really have to devote yourself. You have, must have to love it to keep coming back. What is it that keeps you coming back? You know, it's the sport, um, but it's also the community. So. Uh, for me, I love the physicality of roller derby. I love the athleticism of going out and working hard um, and uh, you know, getting out any stress from the week at practice. But more so, even for me, it's about the community that we're part of um, and how supportive everybody is of each other and just how incredibly inclusive it is and that this is just a really easy group of people to be with. And two more questions. For someone out there who's never been to a derby, uh, game before I've yeah I've covered at, at old jobs for myself and I just find it so exciting. Uh, what what kind of what kind of advice would you give to someone who's thinking about coming out to one of the games? To come for sure <laughs> to come and and plan to just have a really fun night um, and also to try to sit with someone who knows what derby is because like any sport there's rules and there's strategy and having somebody to explain to you what's going on on the track. Uh, is really helpful. Most of the time if you come out, you're gonna find somebody in a jersey um, that's more than happy to explain to you what's going on. So feel free to speak up and uh, let somebody know that you don't know this sport yet. Um, and we'll be happy to have you join our community. I know the last time I went to a game, they, they really spent a lot of time of, of explaining the rules. So yeah. it, it, is, it is easy to follow once you start it. And last question for anyone out there who might want to get involved, what kind of advice would you, you give to them? So there's lots of ways to be involved in roller derby, um, first of all. So, I mean, if you love the physicality of playing a contact sport, come and join us on the track for sure. Um, but we also are always looking for officials, um, both on skates and off skates officials. Um, and we have junior roller derby. So if you have kids um, that are interested in playing a really great and inclusive sport, we start at nine years old um, and no skating experience is required. So I'm here with Gorshak. Uh, she's a skater with Royal City Roller Derby. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, so first question, where, how, where did you get the name Gorshak? So it's a play on the Rorschach inkblot test. So uh, it's a nod to the fact that I have a background in psychology, but it's also a nod to the comic book, The Watchmen. Oh, <laughs> I, I thought it was a nod to Welcome Back, Hunter. <laughs> I've heard that one before too, but sadly, no, it's, 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 a, it's a nerd reference. So uh, how did you get into a roller, uh, roller derby? I got into roller derby because I had a nerd life. I had spent a lot of time on the couch for many, many years, and I decided I was going to start rolling one day. And there were a lot of programs nearby that would teach you how to learn to skate. And I actually Googled fat derby players, and I found a low contact league based out of London, Ontario. Uh, there was a closer league in Toronto, Ontario, and I joined that one. So. And what was it that really drew you to derby opposed to maybe playing softball or basketball or something like that? Great question. So I really like derby because there is a variety of bodies. Uh, people come from a variety of different backgrounds, lived experiences, uh, people with different genders, different, uh, different sexualities, all kinds of different things. So what I really liked about derby was that it was a place where I could really be myself and I could um, be fit and I wasn't seen as less than because I have got a bigger body uh, I was seen as an add to the team uh, since you joined the team has it been everything you thought it would be or uh... everything I thought it'd be and more um, roller derby has really changed my life in a lot of different ways and it's really allowed me again to be myself and it's a collective of a bunch of really delightful weirdos I mean what is there to lose in that and a last question for someone out there who might have been you how, how long have you been playing for this will be 10 years as of next week. Oh, uh, congratulations, Teddy. That's <laughs> Thank awesome. you. Uh, so if you, were, if you were to tell yourself 10 years ago, what kind of advice would you give that 10-year-old you? Oh, 10 years ago. 10 you. years ago, me <laughs> would, uh, you know, just stick with it. And I think I did that. I was not one of those skaters that learned really quickly. I had to put a lot of hours into this. Uh, I was practicing sometimes six, uh, seven times a week, sometimes for six, seven hours a day just to get the bare minimum. So. Um, I think for people who are like me more so than past me, it's just, you know, the sport is going to give you all that you put into it and then more and it's worth sticking with it.